About uh, 15 years ago, as I was annotating a collection of letters to Beethoven that I was working on at the time, there was one particular document that was a personnel list from a concert that Beethoven gave on February 27, 1814. It listed 60 musicians which constituted about half of the orchestra and Beethoven had to pay that half of the orchestra and others paid for the other half. But we had the listing of these people and we had no idea who they were. These were musicians who for the most part, with the exception of five or six of them, were totally unknown to history. And so I started looking into the identities of these particular musicians and found other personnel lists from other concerts by other composers, other situations, and found that many of these same musicians showed up there. And then started looking at the orchestras that played for Beethoven's concerts and came to the conclusion that many of these musicians had played for Beethoven over and over again and that he actually wrote particular parts for them and these are parts that you and I can hear today as we hear the symphonies and concertos and now we can put individual musicians with them and this is this is totally new this changes our, our way of listening to Beethoven symphonies entirely. It's very gratifying for someone like me to receive a Distinguished Scholar Award, especially because there have been so many fine predecessors that I've known personally uh, since the late 1990s. And even going into this year's candidates, uh, that someone as outstanding as Susanna Fine in the English department is also among the nominees. I feel highly honored uh, to be given an award in such an environment as this.